At least 13 deaths have been confirmed in northern Italy's worst flooding in a century. Rescue efforts are underway in the worst affected regions where an unknown number of people are feared trapped. Authorities are still trying to assess the full scope of the devastation. The rain is less intense now, but the floodwaters show little sign of receding. DW correspondent Sonja Farnica got a first-hand look at the situation. A doorway to danger. The cellar is submerged. I've never seen anything like it in my whole life. Massimo Salvador hasn't been himself ever since water levels began rising this afternoon in his village of Lugo in Italy's northern flood-hit Emilia-Romagna region. Within hours, water had consumed the ground floor and submerged his neighbor Mirko's kitchen. Outside, the rain has stopped, but torrential overflows from swollen rivers and canals continue to gush into villages in the region, wreaking havoc and putting a strain on emergency services. Salvador, a mechanic who lives on a safer upper floor, says he's tried in vain to contact the fire service for help, but he isn't bitter. Right now, the focus is rightly on rescuing people from houses. It's only later that they'll worry about pumping out the water. The floods have also sparked an outpouring of help as teams of volunteers try to fill the gaps. Eduardo, along with his friends, has been on his feet since five in the morning, helping with evacuation and rescue operations. He's from the area and isn't sure what has happened to his own home. I've been helping manage traffic, helping with places in the countryside where water has risen to half a meter. It's the fourth or fifth time that I've had to change my clothes today. I don't have fresh socks left. I'm now practically out of clothes. The dire situation in Lugo has also drawn extra professional hands from other parts of the country. The situation is quite desperate now. The whole region of Emilia-Romagna is suffering from something that's really quite unimaginable. The resources are what they are, but we try to do what we can with what we have. For residents like Valentina Caroli, the help is hugely welcome. She was woken this morning by a knock on the door for ground floor apartment by the police and evacuated in a rubber boat. She's now waiting with her family to be taken by the emergency services to her parents. I hope to return soon, but I don't know when. We live in the ground floor. All the wood is damaged. So is the kitchen. I just hope it's not too long. Getting residents to safety is the priority in Italy's flood-torn region. Everything else can wait. And we can now uh, speak to journalist Silvia Boccardi, who is in Milan. Silvia, uh, how are the rescue operations going? Are emergency service actually managing to reach the remote areas? Hi. Well, um, we, we know that uh, there are entire areas that are completely cut out, isolated from, from, from everything, uh, by power blackouts, by lines, the phone lines that are down, by trains that are not working. So um, this is like worrying mainly the, 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 the operation. But we know also that um, p people are being saved. Um, we have seen videos of people actually on, on top of the roofs uh, who are being saved by dinghies of elderly people that are uh, being carried out on, on, on the shoulders of rescuers. So rescue operations are going um, fast, are going well, but at the same time we know that there are, there are more areas that, um, that should be saved uh, at the moment. Um, especially, I, I was talking yesterday with, with some people um, that are lucky enough to be on top of a hill. Uh, and they could see around that, that literally everything around them was submerged. Now, uh, what else can you tell us about the, the sheer scale of the damage so far? Well, um, th it's, it's very early to, to know something about the scale of the damage, but uh, there was an, uh, an initial damage estimate for Bologna, uh, the metropolitan area alone, and we're talking about 110 million euros just for roads. So not counting landslides, not counting the damage to private individuals and, and private goods. So the figure is, is bound to rise um, enormously and is, is really, really serious. 
uh, banks have started allocating um, hundreds of millions for emergency and the government as well uh, is um, going to meet up on, on Tuesday uh, for an emergency meeting um, to give to give more money for, for the emergency. But, I mean, we have to see if this is going to be enough. Mm. So what about the cleanup efforts? How long will that take? Um, again, it's very it's very early to say. Um, Romagna is completely submerged at the moment and uh, he's clinging, clinging to every possible anchor not to sink. Uh, there are thousands of volunteers who are trying to help. There are... Uh, we have inflatable boats, helicopters, firefighters, um, but we we still really need to see what next um, Tuesday meeting is gonna is gonna is gonna say. They, they will have measure passed uh, in order to have more, um, you know, rescue operation put in place. The journalist Silvia Bocardi is there, speaking from Milan. Thank you very much, Silvia. Thank you.